Welcome back to the channel everyone. I hope you are doing absolutely well. This is AT back with another mining video today and today we will be talking about nice hash miner. Here it is. I have been getting quite a few questions these days. People are curious to know about nice hash, why I don't use nice hash and like what are the plus points and what are the negative points. I will be talking about all of that in this video. So without any further ado, let's now get started. The real reason why I don't use nice hash is there are like few points here. Firstly, nice hash is a rental service. It's like your hash power is being sold here. It's not actually like mining onto it, but it's just selling your hash power. That's how nice hash works. It's not the exact definition though, but generally you can say that you're selling your GPUs or CPUs hash power. That's it. Whereas mining on Ethermine, you're actually putting in efforts and mining actual Ethereum or Ravencoin or whatever coin specifically. And secondly, why I don't use nice hash is because what this will do is this will pick up the most profitable algorithm at the moment and start mining onto it. You will be paid in Bitcoin. So that's like for some people a plus point for some people a negative point like me. I usually don't like me getting paid in Bitcoin. I want my Ethereum or whatever coin that I have mined. So that's not possible here. Everything is paid out in Bitcoin only. And the next thing is because of its benchmarks. Let me show you the algorithms it has downloaded by itself. As you can see, Dragger Hashimoto Excavator, which is nothing but Ethereum and Grin, Zhash, Beam, like all the coins are here. Ravencoin, Flux, Ethereum and all those. As you can see, one octopus is there, Conflux. What this will do is this will start benchmarking all the algorithms on the same overclock settings. For example, this is my base overclock settings for Ethereum, par 62, core clock minus 502, and memory is all the way up to 1499, fan speed is 88. For example, if I want to run some other algorithm, say Kapow, which is for Ravencoin, obviously this overclock setting will not work for Kapow. We will be getting way less hash power when we use this one. Mega hashes will drop to around 17 or 16 with these overclock settings and it will like not get enough juice in order to mine Ravencoin because that is like power hungry algorithm. Same follows with Octopus like we need to change the overclock settings. So the overclock settings differ from algorithm to algorithm but nice hash doesn't switch your overclock settings. That's how it is like it should have an option where you can set your overclock setting for each algorithm and when it changes algorithm automatically based on the profitability it should switch to that overclock setting if that is possible i can think of nice hash miner but just because it switches algorithm like every now and then whenever the profitability or other factors of a particular algorithm decreases it switches to like the most profitable algorithm at that point of time for example, let me show you a simple example by going into what to mine so that you understand better. So going into what to mine, let me type in the RTX 3060 LHR, which is this. And it's giving me around 37 mega hashes on T-Rex. Okay, let me keep bar at the same. Let me not change that. As you can see, it says $1.59 before electricity Ethereum. So think for example, now Ethereum prices goes down, then obviously Ethereum will come down to third position or even fourth position might be Conflux or Ravencoin goes above Ethereum. But definitely we all know that Ethereum, whatever the price is, it will definitely give a bounce back like how it did today. It has bounced like 5% to 6% all of a sudden and it has come to first position again. But what nice hash will do is whenever like you're mining ethereum for example and ethereum goes down and ravencoin comes up it will switch to ravencoin without even changing the overclocks or without any notice to us like it has changed algorithm i need to do that manually i need to keep a watch every time like whether it has switched algorithms or it is mining on the same algorithm i need to keep an eye on that and based off which i need to change the overclock settings manually in order to get the full potential of my card that's one of the big drawbacks of using nice hash 
so now ethereum is up definitely it will mine ethereum but we are not really certain about ethereum it might come down again and Cero might go up or you can say conflux might go up what it will do is it will switch to next best algorithm which would be conflux or raven coin and as i said overclock settings with the same so that's one of the biggest negative point of mining on nice hash that is the main reason i stopped mining on nice hash yes i tried nice hash for 24 hours previously but because of this factor i just didn't like the way it works that's the reason i switched completely to ether mine whatever card i might buy in future or i might have i will be using ethermine or like other mining pools not this rental services like nice hash do let me know your thoughts in the comment section about nice hash are you mining on nice hash what is your experience everything like whatever you have so that's pretty much it for this video guys if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up this is all about technology 24 into 7 signing off for the moment you guys have a great day peace